So then the next thing is, what happens if Pete starts bringing this inside knee on the bottom really tight? Yeah. So it seems like, it seems like if this knee's back and away from me, there's a bit of space, right? So here he's in more of a sprawl. He could be curling his heel up to his bum here as well, right? Keep, uh, can you keep your knee off the mat? Can you hire on me? Can you keep your knee off the mat? Or is it too much work? Yeah. yeah. So that's 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 going to be like really heavy. But like, you know, so then this becomes this. Can I get the knee under, right? And this begins to happen. So there's a trade between his weight and the space. But now let's say he jams the knee in. Yeah, he jams the knee in. So now, actually, just have a play, those of you who've not seen it, with, uh, let's just have a play with what you're going to try and do from here. I can't now get my knee to my elbow. Uh, let me get my underhook as well. Sorry, Tom. Bastardizing the knee. Because so, it changes it. If my, if my arm is in front, I have, different, I have a different set of options if I don't have the underhook. Right? I still set, actually prefer to have the underhook back. I'd still rather have the underhook back. I'd still rather have the other hook back. But let's play with the knee just jammed in a second and see where we all end up. Yeah, we'll do a little isolation. 